and one. There we go. Okay. So now that we've heard of a PERS rating and an ERI, I want to show you this test. This is called a blower door test. And one of the things that uh, one of the main reasons this is important is because on the HERS index and on the ERI, your house infiltration plays a big factor in how good a score you get, right? You would expect that if you're losing a lot of air in the house or whatever, that um, it's going to cost a lot more to heat and cool and that's going to harm your HERS index or ERI, right? So this is how we test it. It's a very kind of a straightforward principle. Um, what we do is we put this device called a blower door in, right? You can see why it's called that. And this is kind of a minimal setup just as I, so I can demonstrate that for you. But um, what this fan is going to do is it's a calibrated fan and it's going to pull air out of the house and measure then through this calibrated opening how much air it's pulling out of the house. All right, so we're going to continue to take more and more air out until we reach our test pressure of 50 Pascal. 50 Pascal is a very, very small pressure as far as we're concerned if you're thinking about the amount of air pressure in your tire. 50 Pascal is somewhere around a 25 mile an hour wind worth of air pressure, okay? And in just a second, when we start this up, you'll have a chance to come over here and feel this and feel what that pressure feels like. And keep in mind, when you do that, that's the amount of pressure that this fan is putting on all sides of the house right now when we're running that fan. So um, it's kind of a, a unique type of test. Um, so I don't know, I haven't tested this house before, but I'm going to assume the worst, okay? So I'm gonna get this opening right here ready to do this test. Um, and like I can mention 25 Pascal, or 50 Pascal is where we run this test. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna watch um, my gauge as I'm turning this fan up. And so I've got my pressure readout over here and my fan pressure over here. So I'm gonna get this set up for that. All right. Okay. That's pretty much all there is involved in doing this. Um, we're at our test pressure of 50 Pascal, and um, you can come by and you can feel kind of what that is. Keep in mind, up in the attic, there's a four foot by four foot hole into the attic that's wide open right now. And I keep mentioning that, but why does that matter? That matters because this house doesn't have an insulated ceiling. It's actually insulated on the bottom of the roof deck. So they spray foam insulation to the bottom of the roof deck which makes that attic kind of like it's inside the house. So it's sealed off. Um, we call that a sealed attic. Um, this is getting, right now, we'll just call it um, 1,122 CFM, okay? So if you think of a box that's one foot by one foot by one foot, we're moving 1,120 of those through this fan every minute, okay? Um, that's actually, pretty good for a house this size, especially given the fact that it's a model home. We know that in model homes like this, they meet a different construction schedule and they do a lot of weird things to them while they're building them that don't make them act like normal homes. Um, if I had to guess off the top of my head, I'd say this was around two, maybe two and a half air changes per hour, okay? Um, which. North Carolina code right now allows up to five air changes in it. So we're kind of meeting half the code standard. That house across the street, it's under two. So I think it was 1.6 air changes. That's extremely tight. That's a very tight building envelope. You have to work really hard to get that. So um, I'm gonna leave this running for a second if you guys wanna come fill this. And also, um, you can take a second to walk around the house maybe around outlets, light switches, other places where 
we can kind of sense where that air is coming into the house. So take a second, walk around, and we'll kind of get a sense of that. 3,000 square feet. 3, feet. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, it's on the, yeah, oh, there we go. Right there beside me. And <laughs> you said it was how many? Two? I think it's around two air changes, yeah. What would a house without the spray foam insulation like a regular? We have um, other Energy Star builders that are even struggling to get five air changes. So four and a half, four point seven. Energy Star? Even Energy Star, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And a lot of builders who aren't doing anything, they're not even meeting the bare metal code. Yeah. Wow. You should be able to get five without really trying. But have you seen any builders that even this um, other energy star builders yeah. that are around the you know four and a half five range. Oh yeah, so they can get the two. Oh no, not consistently. We um, we do a lot of other custom and things like that, um, but nobody's had two consistently. Yeah, no, it's very impressive. Uh, All right, so Sam, what are people doing right now? They are putting their hands all over the house. Why is that? Well, folks are trying to feel where they can um, experience air infiltration actually happening. So we're running the blower door, and we've got this number, and we want to get a sense of um, 1,100 CFM, what that feels like leaking through gaps and cracks now. Okay. All right. We can reel it back in here for just a second. We got a sense of what the blower door test is. Now when we do a similar test to this called the duct test, our uh, duct blaster test or duct leakage test, we're using a very similar kind of fan apparatus and we're going around and we're going to tape off all of the supplies in the house. We're going to hook this fan up to the HVAC, we do the same thing. After we tape off all these supplies, we're going to depressurize the house or depressurize the duct system with that fan and we're going to measure the amount of air that it takes to go through that fan to keep it at that test pressure. Um, the reason we don't generally show that one to people like this is because it's a little obscure. You can't really see what's going on, and it takes a lot longer to set up. So we're rolling um, away. Yeah. <laughs> well, in that case, <laughs> um, we got a ladder. <laughs> the uh, so. Those two tests right there make up a tremendous amount of what influences the HERS index and the ERI. Uh, North Carolina Building Code does currently have a requirement for duct testing in new construction, um, or really, I guess, anytime you pull a permit. Um, and so that will continue into the new codes as well. What is the threshold for passing on this test? So currently, North Carolina Building Code allows a prescriptive path or this would be kind of part of a performance path. The prescriptive path has a checklist of air sealing items you have to complete. If you don't complete those or if you just want to do a blower door test, then the um, you're allowed up to five air changes. And so um, the prescriptive list of air sealing items includes things like air sealing top plates, bottom plates, um, around windows and doors, gaps and cracks, all kinds of things like that. And that is something that a, a permit holder can kind of self-certify that they've, that they've done that or, or they've seen that done if they choose not to do a blower door test. Sam, are you familiar with that new aerosol system? Yes. What do you think of it? Very interesting. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. Yeah. Maybe we should do a demo on that sometime soon, right? I'd love to see that. Okay, well we've asked them actually, so maybe we'll get them out here. Yeah. All right. 